are currently right outside the Highstone Museum. It is right across the street from the Calumet Hotel that we are staying in. And we're going to do a little bit of investigating. We'll walk around with the EMF detector and see what we pick up. Um, depending on what we find, we may or may not do a spirit box. I don't want to um, disrespect anyone or any spirits. I know there's some, na there's some army um, and navy outfits and stuff up there from people who served and were from the city of Pipestone. So we're not going to probably do a spirit box there out of respect. But yeah, let's go and check this place out. Please come and support this business. We have some really awesome stuff right inside in the gift shop that are all made locally or made out of local materials. Oh, oh there's a little bit there. Oh, you kick out of this part. Oh, this is mm -hmm. Solomon's Association. Yeah. Looking ladder number one. Fifteen thirty. Look at that. Pretty close. Circa 1890. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, look at this. It's an old fireman's house trailer. Look at that. It's cool. Hose cart. We're used to pull, we're pulled manually, not hitched up to horses. So the people pulled them. Yep. Um, the fire department here pur first purchased one similar to this one in 1891. Hmm. This came from the city of Trosco, which was donated to the museum in 2004. That's so cool. Old fireman gear. Getting a little mess out here. Closing the pocket. Balls like, where did the Legion come join us? What are they in there for? Oh. He's gone off just a tad bit. He's not doing it now. Is there something attached to the, the fireman's outfit? It like, it like flickered and then it stopped. I don't know. And there's another photo there too showing the men pulling it. Yeah. I didn't see that before. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. That's really cool. Mm. So imagine their poor backs. The things that people had to do. Oh, 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 I'm getting hit. That was really cool. Go ahead and do that again. Feel free to come up to my device in my hand at any time to let us know you're here. That's wonderful, thank you. Hello. I'm getting all the way up to yellow. It's really neat, thank you. Native Americans that used to live in this area. Well, they still live in the area, but they're more prominent. Mammoth. This is from a mammoth. Found at Miles City, Montana, June 12, 1988, by Paul E. Ike, I believe. Species Colombian extinct 10,000 plus years. That's cool. We'll see the husk. Yeah. 
That is awesome. Copper. Look at these cool tools and stuff that were probably used by natives. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at there's an old razor. There's a war club. That's really neat. Cat, cat Lynette items. Cat Lynette. A very popular carving medium used for peace pipes and a variety of carvings since it is very soft stone and easy to carve. Huh. That's cool. It's really neat. Oh, these are hard to open. You're going to open them. Oh, look at the toilet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Look at that. That's funny. I think the bottoms are locked yeah. up. Yeah. Copper. 6,000 BC to 800 BC. Copper tools were first made by the Indians of the old copper culture. Lived in the Great Lakes area where there were deposits of pure copper. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. That one's pretty. Look at the design on this. It's absolutely beautiful. And then there's a corn cob pipe right there. Oh, the corn cob pipe thing. Mm -hmm. Trash. <laughs> More club and axe. Oh, cool. And club some of that. Look at the beautiful head. beading. Mm -hmm. Pretty fancy to just be a weapon to hit someone in the head with. You know what? They came with their faces to go to war. So. I mean, they like color. Beauty purse. Those are cool. They were really popular in like the 20s. Mm -hmm. What's this one? More war clubs? Oh, pull that one out a little bit more. That one's really cool. Let's be a horde. Uh huh. Ooh, here it comes. Made with ivory or tortoise shell. Hmm. We just got another new subscriber. Ooh, no, that's... Flit napping? That's uh, flit napping. Mm -hmm. That's what they make yeah. these from. Curling aids and curlers. Hey, babe, how would you like to do that? No, thank you. I don't even like that. Well, I'm using a normal... Beard? See, That's I so tried cool. to learn how to do this stuff, and it is not easy. So, think of all the work that these people put in to make those. Ooh. Ladies? Those are hot things. Must be a lady say. It is. You uh, pin it to your head. Bullet mortars. Pretty neat. What is this? Central School Time Capsule sealed in 1918. Opened November 10th, 2018. That's really neat. Stone strata sample. Represents a small portion of the large collection taken to the World's Fair by C.H. Bennett in 1993. Did you tell them we were in here already? Yeah, I said there's a picture. Are they coming or? No, they're only doing whatever they do. What are they doing? <laughs> I thought they wanted to come in here. Oh, they're doing their thing. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing all of them. Horse cart for 137 dollars with 500 feet of hose. This is a bell and whistle for a fire alarm. Ooh, that's how they used to hitch up to that mm -hmm. They're tired. Let me look grass here. They had to be good at running. Fire department race team. Yeah. These are racers they did with them. Yeah. Ouch. 
Fairly perfect hand and fairly push a little bit lower. Mm. A rubber bucket. There's my fireman photos. The Hicks oil fire. That's where we're staying. Telegraph keys, telegraph relay. Like they had field trips in 1956. That's second grade class. The kids are so cute. Lanterns and road, railroad axes. Photos of trains. Cream cans. I actually had a few of these growing up. We had them on our property. Mm -hmm. We'd use them for bird, bird feed. That neat clean. Hey, it's a Ken doll, a vintage Ken doll, and vintage Barbie. Oh, I'm getting a reading on that one. Look at that. If there are any spirits here, you can come forward and you can touch this device and let us know you're here. It's right by the marbles. If there's a spirit attached to the marbles, can you light that up just one more light further? Let's try and oh. okay. attached to one of the dolls in here. Thank you for showing yourself. Look at that. Those are similar to Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Hey, little baby doll. Oh. Those are the barbels. Those are the barbies. Yeah. Because I went up to the next one. I didn't do that before. You can't see that you can't. Yes, I can. Oh, 
This is the first house I've ever made. It's a replica. Homestead Clan Shanty. This is a full size replica of the first white person's dwelling in Pipestone County from 1874. There's a little wood stove in there. They have to be sorted. It's easier to block a little door than it is a big door. Look at that. I know. I took a picture of it. This is so cute. It's adorable. Oh, you might need to stay warm with it all that just like We're coming to place the first clan fall. Pipestone School. Fire destroyed it in 1893. Old City Hall. And there's the Calumet. It Fire destroyed the first wood and vineyard brick Calumet Hotel in 1886. It was rebuilt the next year out of Sioux Quartz Night or Quartzite, sorry, at the at its current location, one block south of the original. The Richard Sunyan Romanesque influence. It was reconstructed in 1887 for a cost of thirty thousand dollars. The stonework is broken ashlar style. It's really cool. A three-story addition was added to the back in 1899, and the fourth floor was added in 1913, bringing the number of guest rooms up to 90. The building was condemned in 1978 by the state fire marshal. New owners purchased it in 1979. And after extensive renovations, reopened in 1981. And now has 36 guest rooms. And look at that photo, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. From the quarry. Oh, look, here's a little ghost. Maybe you tell the lady up front to get a prize. For not finding the ghost? Mm-hmm. Oh, hello there, ghost. The building is destroying the fire. Mm -hmm. There it's just storage. Didn't she say there was a downstairs? No. That's what she did. She said you go down and then you can come down. No, you go up and oh. then down and then you get back where you started. Oh. Ah. Oh. There's little plates along each step. Yeah. Not sure what they say. Mm -hmm. Your names. Doctor. Probably, um, probably benefactors. Mom likes switchboard. That's pretty cool. Never seen a switchboard in person before. That's pretty neat. What number, please? Look at the old telephone poles. On the wagon. If there are any spirits up here that would like to communicate with us, you can approach this device in my hand and it'll light up and let me know you're here. Oh, 
this must be the rocking chair. Okay. He's a, oh, he's having a breathe. Okay. <sighs> Is there somebody who likes to make this chair move? We were told that some guests have witnessed this chair rocking. Can you make the chair rock? Huh? Let's get back over here. Look <laughs> at that. Back or is that the rocking chair that rocks? Mm -hmm. If there's a spirit here that likes to rock the chair, can you rock it for me? We'd love to see it move. We'd also love to know you're here with us. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it was moving just slightly, just wonderful. Can you move it a little bit more? I'll just watch it carefully because it was like just barely moving. You see it? Uh -huh. It's really cool. Do you like to rock in the chair? It looks like a really nice chair. I bet it's really comfortable. Is there anybody here with us right now? Here. Hello. What is your name? My name's Avery. And my name's Stephanie. We're here to make contact with you. Was that, was that you moving the chair? Here. Can you make it rock more? I'd love to see the chair rock more. Do you hear the creak over there? Mm-hmm. Is this your bedroom? Hey, Paul. Can you tell us what your name is? Well, thank you for showing us and talking to us. If you want to communicate with us, just come up to this box and light it up for me. It won't hurt you at all. It just lights up kind of like a candle and it lets us know that you're near. And just come up and touch it at any time.
It's a neat looking chair. Kitchen from the early nineteen hundreds. Pipes. Is there someone in this little living room here? Can you come up and touch this box on the windowsill? Also made with local rock. Moccasins made by the neighbors. Beautiful beadwork. Beautiful. Look at that. Saddles and stuff. Pretty cool. Drums. Look at these beautiful carved pieces. These are gorgeous. Beaded bottle. That's cool. Bladder container, bladder is still wrapped in and made into containers of various kinds. Are there any spirits attached to any of these instruments?
even made a huge comeback. I even have one at home. All the radios. I'm trying to figure out like what they went to the region for. Is that them? Yeah. No way. Oh, there they are. Hi. Snap. Found you. Oh. How was the legion? Oh, it's actually really good. It was it packed? Yeah. Was it? What'd you guys yeah, go there, there for? There were two people in there, including the bartender. I, I just got a room chat. <laughs> and we were in. What the heck? Mm -hmm. That racking chair moves just slightly. It's and really the bartender good. that works at the Legion used to work at the hotel. Really? Yeah, she was telling us stories. Sweet. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Okay. 1845. I was getting hits downstairs. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Paul's gonna fucking love this. <laughs> hey, can you believe that that's a phone switch? Yeah. I just thought that was really neat. But I've never seen a switchboard before. I thought that was pretty cool. But they said that that wrecking chair over there moves. Like people have seen it move. So, like oh, I asked it to it. move and it was moving just ever so slightly. 1934, or the 1900s. Okay. 19. 1934. I love looking at this and it's like these made a comeback though. Or is that 1834? 1834. I think it was. Because I have a record player at home. I and a Harry Styles players. record. You do not. I do. Stop. I do. <laughs> I love Harry Styles. Especially his song Falling. Like, I'm going to die for that song. I'm sorry. I found a girl who did a cover of it. And I just love it. I love the cover. He's got such a magical voice. You know what's really fun? Watching Carpool Karaoke with um, James Gordon. Yeah, Corbin, yeah. Yeah. And uh, when he when he did it with Harry Styles, they were like, oh, like, like, it was like a gay moment. It was cute. Because, like, Harry Styles reaches over and touches his leg or whatever, and he, like, turns bright red. They were like flirting. It was cute. I'm like, there's no one who can tell me that James Corden is not at least bi. Oh yeah, he's got to be. He has. He, to. I mean, he screams. He screams. You know, he has those vibes. I'm like, someone's got to tell his wife. <laughs> I love the guy though. I watch him, him religiously. Look at this, Andrew Jackson. Oh yeah, they hated him.
Yeah. But he was actually the one that wanted to keep. If you actually look through history. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, was people, huh? It was. Yeah. The, it was people that went above and beyond. Yeah. And made people live horrible. Yeah. I mean, you got. He, he, he had the intent. He was the Trail of Tears president. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, the beadwork is insane. The, the beadwork, I was just telling Avery, the beadwork at the uh, Latoka Lakota Museum, the Atkin Lakota Museum in South Dakota, at Chamberlain. Yeah. Look at those little baby moccasins. Well, there's like original beadwork. Okay. I've been like sliding it down. Yeah. I was going to say, there's no one here. Figure I have it if I need it, but. This is the only room I haven't been in yet. No, I want to go in that one. Oh, military. We all know I military. World War One. Are there any spirits of soldiers attached to any of these items? If you're here, touch this little box in my hand with the light on it. Oh, thank you. One, two, three, four, nine, Caitlin. six, seven, four. What? Thank you. Thank you for your service. As I'm seeing the Marine Corps. Song. Well, I asked him, I was like, if there are any military spirits attached to these items, to touch this box in my hand and now it's happening. It's amazing, thank you. Thank you for letting us know you're here. Oh, is it, was this your old outfit? Look at this. World War One. Look at that handsome guy's outfit. Ooh, we all know I love my men in uniform. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh, Thank you for communicating with me. Jesus. Guys, I'm getting hit. Yeah. Sure it's going crazy. Oh, wow. Thank you for your service. Because of you, today we're free. Remember, I can edit out. I can edit out anything. Okay. It's like seriously, I love women. You know, I do too. So no shame. <laughs> Thank you for lighting that up for me. I appreciate you communicating with me. Hmm. Yeah. See. Which uniform were you, was yours? Was it this one? Or was it this one? I feel like it was lighting up, pointing to it. I don't know. That one? You can also interact with the box in Paul's hand too. Look at that. Yeah, this one's getting a reading on both of them. Old Navy Cracker Jacks. That's my jam right there. Like it started hitting right after I asked them to, to feel free to communicate with us this way. Is there anyone attached to this uniform here? Um, Lieutenant M. Ted Evans, are you here with us? Oh, 
it's like really warm, like it'd be really hot to wear. I just want to like go on and see how hot it would be. Are you cool? Oh, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 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 Pickle home, spiked helmet, hmm. German army. Just look at the, how small their heads were. I mean, I mean, were Germans really that small? Or was this just a? This is World War One, though. Or was this just something it'd that? Be, no, that's that's. I can't even. I mean, that would like fit on the top of my head. Maybe that would fit your head. No, it wouldn't <laughs> fit my head. Especially that in the back, it's all tapered off in the back. I don't know how that would fit anyone but a kid. But who knows? Screw the Nazis. Nobody likes the Nazis. We're so glad that the Nazis no longer really have any power and Hitler is gone. So anybody attached to any of these uniforms here, feel free to communicate with the box in my hand. If you touch it, it'll light up. And it'll let me know you're here. Ooh, this one. I gotta zoom out, I'm way zoomed in. pretty cool stuff oh look at that the service flag was first used by the families of armed service personnel during world war one to be displayed in the family's home usually visible in a window and had a red border a white background with a blue star to symbolize each each soldier in the household the star's color was changed to gold to indicate the death of a soldier oh that's sad sad fact Albert and Dalbert Michael. <laughs> Feel free to communicate with us at any point. You can come up and hold, touch this box in my hand. It'll light up and let me know you're here. This one's forever. Yeah, it, it, for me, it's been happening right here. Like, I get drawn right to this. Yeah. Right to this uniform right here. So like, oh, no, is that um, Ted, Ted, Evans. Ted Evans, Lieutenant Ted Evans? LT. Thank you for your service, Lieutenant Evans. We appreciate your sacrifices. What are behind the little what curtains? What was his name that the reason why the World War One started is because of the man in Hungary. Oh, look at this, guys. Hungary, he got assassinated. Look at that. Thank you. I can tell Huh. There's a, a 90s. It's a whole exhibit in here. It's an exhibit? Look at that. Like, it's pieces of, of like... Is we allowed to go in there? Well, you can't even walk in there. Oh, look at the floor. What is it, though? If you look like it's pieces like that they would have built there to them the wall. Oh. They're probably gonna reconfigure it. Well, that's pretty cool. Is there anything behind that one? Just no. Books and... The curiosity got the best of me. It's really cool. Oh, wow, those people got drafted. Huh? Oh. Pipestone County's honored dead. Carlton Ashton, Private First Company, Coast Defense, Artillery. Peter Baker, Bacher, Private Infantry, Entered Service. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Private First Class, 852nd Aero Squadron. Died of pneumonia. Look at this. Died of influenza. Died of peritonitis. Died of pneumonia. Died of pneumonia. Died of pneumonia. This one was killed in action. Irving Benjamin Engelbart. Um, this one died of pneumonia. This one drowned. This one killed by a bursting shell in the Argonne def offensive near Pylone. What? We just started walking. But it was moving before you were walking. Yeah. See if I can check it if you look at it just right. It's weaving. Oh, that's neat. It's like really hard because it's reflective so bad. This LT needs to whip it. And I'm, it's not moving when I'm bouncing. It wobbles a little, but it's not doing the swing that it was just doing. Oh. Ted, can you make the, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, can you Ted. make that, can you make that swing? Make that motherfucker swing. <laughs> Be respectful, he's a Lieutenant in the Army. Savage. Oh, shit, that's you know, I respect my. I know my you life. respect your service, man. So we get that. All of a sudden, it starts whipping around. He's <laughs> moving away before he attacks you. Huh? Said so I'm moving away before he attacks you. Me? Why would he attack me? I love my service members. He's the one that's fucking me. Because you're like, fucking make you move. <laughs> and then next thing you know, she'll be like, ow, oh, son of a bitch, I got a bite on my neck. <laughs> oh, yep, it's Keith Mark. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> hey, boo. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it stopped moving, though. Mm -hmm. It was wobbling a little bit. No, nope, it's not moving. Yeah, it's moving. It moves a little bit, but it, when he jumps, it stops. No, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's been going. <clears throat> You're still getting a reading there, which is coordinating events. So there's also that. Killed in action. Did you get hits on this one? Huh? Did you get hits on the cracker jack? Cracker jack. Dude, it's really normal. Yeah, I just didn't get that close to it because I have short arms. Little arms. I get close to this one and I get hits. Like, I don't want to cross their little... Ugh. Pretty much getting hits on all of them. Except well, for the helmets. The helmets are like, no, sir. This one's nothing. I'm not getting anything. Or that one. But this one, immediately. These are all army, correct? Yep. Oh, you see the, the on the this one's the not now. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Thank you. So I got that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, those two at the end don't. That one got. This one right here did for me. It went all the way up to like orange. Really? Yeah. Because I didn't get anything from it. I don't like you. Can I see that quick? Go down. Mm -hmm. Is there someone attached to this uniform? Can you make this box light up? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting anything. I want to go right back to this guy here. Well, it was. Yep, there it is. 
Can you go this That's where I was like standing right here. I was like, oh. Thank you for lighting that up for me. Yeah. It's wonderful to know you're here with us. It's pretty neat. Sure. Why do a lot of people smile? Oops, I don't wait, know. It has to look like intimidating or something. Or maybe, maybe it's because dental care was crap. Well, I mean, you got you got that guy up here smiling. Maybe he had good teeth. Or didn't care. I mean, he's smiling, you know, somewhat. But everybody else is like, well, they're the military. They're like they really pretty eyes. We are stern and serious. I'm going to war. I'm going to sit like this. She looks <laughs> <laughs> possessed to shit. Oh. Oh, I don't like her. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Yo. Don't be rude. She may not have your. She may not have your six, but she's definitely got your three and nine. No, she's like looking up like she's demon. Like, look at. She's like looking at you like this. I will oh, curse you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, is it lighting up now? It went to yellow when I was not doing anything. It's flickering a little bit. Oh, maybe he's just finicky and only wants to do it when he wants to do it. That is true. Well, thank you for showing us your presence. Did you see the scary lady? When's all? Good <laughs> Lewis C. Wenzel of Holland. Can you light that up if that's your name? Lewis C. Wenzel? Of course, at your leisure. As a private first class, he came above. Uh, during the infantry, he entered the service on February 25th, 1918, and trained at the Camp Dodge. I know he departed overseas on May 15th. This one was Charles J. Long, and he was from Pipestone. The cross circle patch on the right arm is for private first class. He was a private. Sure. Red chevron on the upper left yeah. arm means that he was honorably discharged with permission to wear the uniform. Each red chevron on the lower left arm indicates six months overseas. This one is honorably discharged and had permission to wear his uniform. The chevron on the lower left sleeve indicates six months served overseas. The disc on the collar indicates a machine gun company. The division patch on the left shoulder is for the 86th division. He was a corporal in the 302nd Battalion Tank Corps. Thank you, Charles. Does it say... This was Wilbur D. Lawrence. He was also a Pipestone. As a musician, first class, he entered the service in May, uh, this thing ain't now. May 28th, 1918, and trained at Norfolk Training Station. Assigned to the USS Kearsarge, patrolled the Atlantic coast and cruised the Atlantic Ocean. Qualified as a sharpshooter and was awarded stripes for service in a submarine zone. The USS Kearsarge was a pre-dreadnought battleship launched in 19 or sorry 1898 by the Newport News Shipbuilding Company during World War One. It served as a training ship for armed guard crews and naval engineers. So what is the, the signal over the top? Combat situation, so they blow this whistle yeah, to retreat. To retreat, like fall back, right? Correct, yeah. Well, let's see, both ways because it's not moving now until like you ask him to move it, and if it's moving it a little bit, Ooh. 
Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, he was moving it a little bit again. Lieutenant, can you move your whistle? Is that it started going like this. Can you let us know you're here by moving your whistle just a little bit? I think it's not moving. Now it's just you and me. Can I get you to rock the chair? It's just me and you. Let me know you're here with me. Can you come up and touch this box and let me know you're here? No, you don't want to. You don't have to be afraid of it. It won't hurt you. Would you feel better if I set it down and walked away? Here, I'm gonna set this down right here. And I'm gonna back up. Can you go up there and touch that box with the green light on it? It won't hurt you. It just reads energies. So I can sense you. Let me know you're here since I can't see you. Casualties the U.S. government was expecting it for the invasion of Japan. Really? Yep. Does anyone want to come up and sit next to me? Mm -hmm. Feel free to come sit with me. I would be honored. Asking if it was him messing with it. Hello. Let's pop it. Take, give my feet a break. I'm a little sore. Because I haven't broken these in yet fully. So. My kicks. Is it picking up something on that? Electronic about that at all. So. Well, like when I came over here, it was like going like pretty much to horn when I touched it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it is picking up something. Oh, and it went higher. Three. Yeah, when I was over here earlier, I went to like orange. Is there a spirit attached to these items?
Thank you for talking with us. Can you make it go beyond three to let us know that you're here? Please don't lean on that. I feel like if it broke, you'd be in so much trouble. It could. It doesn't look very stable on the corners there. And there's nothing in the back. Yeah. And nothing, I would think, underneath that would even be making this. Can you light that up to orange if you're here with us? I'd be happy with a good solid yellow. Let's make it an orange. How about that? Mm -hmm. Got the yellow. Orange. Keeps hitting yellow. It's like, I'll give you a yellow. How about that? <laughs> Compromised. Bottom of my coach just barely touches the top of it. <laughs> Let's mm, no, it's not doing nothing. And that's how you know it was something because um, if there's something electronic or something, it wouldn't just stop. Yeah. This room is full of spirits. I want to see things swing again. See, that was really weird. I can jump up and down if you like. I don't know how much damage I'll do. I'm only 120 pounds. Maybe it's because we're walking. It Probably could be. could be. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. It's because we're walking. Like, I haven't gotten, I haven't seen it, like, imitate that when you jump, like, the same way it was swinging, but... Oh, you're talking about this lady right here? Do you see the lady looking at you like she's possessed? This one? Yeah, that one. That was creepy. Like, no thank you. Put the thing up to it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because we're walking. Walking in here, walking around. Is the photo haunted? I don't think so. But whoever she was, I think she was possessed. That's what it is. <laughs> you can really see the eyes. Well, no, she was so looking, good. like, it looks like she's looking at like this. Like she's gonna curse you. Well, she might just have really pretty eyes. Like look at how smile. look at how her head's tipped just a little bit, and how it's like her eyes are like furrowed in her brow, just a little bit. Like when you look at somebody like this, with your head not fully up. Let's not do that. <laughs> They're gonna wonder what we're doing up here. <laughs> Playing trampoline. Playing trampoline. I really want that hat. Oh, oh, ho, ho. look at that. Hello. My favorite color is like olive green. Thank you for communicating with us. Oh, it hit orange. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Wish I had your name somewhere. Mm -mm. It doesn't say who this belonged to. So, ooh, dog tags. It says number five. Right. Ooh, right there. That's where you should put it on. Well, I don't, maybe. Uh -huh. It's old school dog tags. Yeah, those are really old school. Maybe you have the chip in them for putting through your teeth. Let's see if I can get. Boots. Nothing on the boots. Keep up. No. Nope. I need a dog tag. Look at the looks at. Huh? That hat. This this is gonna looks at. Where is it about it? Yeah. The pants. You look at it? Yeah. You can move it over to the yeah, let me move this right on top of the dog tags. Like you would think like the dog tags, that's like their most tight, like they're. So out of the four here, are they on or dead? 
or out of these, four were killed in the Argonne Forest, which was mm -hmm. the deadliest mm -hmm. battle of World War One. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of yeah. them died of pneumonia. One of them drowned. Yeah, in Portsmouth, Virginia. One died of tuberculosis over here. TB. Yep. No. Uh, uh, Arthur Conrad Smallfield. Smallfield. Yeah. Leg oh. tuberculosis. Yeah. Tuberculosis of the bone. Okay. He got mm. flu. Pneumonia. 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 Yeah. Accidentally drowned. Yeah, in, in Virginia. Pretty accident. Portsmouth, Virginia. I think it just likes these two items here. It was going off a second. Ago. Calf torn away by shrapnel. When you bump it, what would go off to? Cool. Return to the U.S. February 1919. Operated Camp Lewis. Discharge and brought to parent home. Died. 1919. Oh, 19. Back that hand. Not even. He returned to the U.S. in February 21st of 1919 and died in July oh, of 1919. Mm -hmm. So is this a drill sergeant hat or did they just wear this all the time? They wore that. All the time? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've seen a picture of my grandfather and he's With, wearing I don't have my hat. other hand free, so they're going to have to take the left one just because I don't have it free. My hand's all wrapped up in... I'm still saluting. It's still a thing. And the of proper honor. way is hand yeah. an angle like this, right to the That's tip okay. of your eyebrow. Some go like this, and then like oh, the yeah. what was it? The <laughs> Confederates were like. That's the British, because they were yeah. well, No, have you have you ever seen the little Colonel with with yeah. Shirley Temple? He's like it's this way. Yeah, that's. The and British. she's like, no, it's this way. Yeah. And he goes, no, this. Way. It's crazy. Yeah, because it's Hello? you know it's right that. here, right to the tip of the. Eyebrow. Look at that. This is going off right here. This item and this item keep going off. We've already been in here over an hour. <laughs> nice. In reality, I'll maybe have 20 minutes of footage if that. Okay, well, we know that that sets it off. Yes, don't tap on surfaces. Look at that big ass spoon. Yeah, just set it down right on top of it. That's what I did with this. See, look at that. First it's flickering. Did. Careful. I heard a cracking noise. Mothering everybody. Yeah. I heard a cracking noise. I'm not mothering everybody, so don't be a dick. Just because I told you not to break something. Cool. I've seen it go up to orange like a couple times. Mm. Yeah, and there's absolutely nothing here mm -hmm. that would set it off. Yeah, there's no... Nothing up there. There's no This outlet. is completely... Yeah, it's completely just glass back there. I'm, I'm guessing this is just a display case. Zero so outlet. There's nothing. Here's the door to open it. There's no lights anywhere in there. It looks legit to me. And that's just the window. Yeah. Oh, see, that's what's making me nervous. He's making a cracking noise. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I, I got nothing. Nothing. Is there anyone attached to this uniform here? No. It seems like. It's the blanket and the hat that gets the hardest hits. Mm -hmm. I wasn't getting anything on any of the other items. Mm -mm. Like I had, I had tried and I tried try. the boots. I'm the, gonna try pointing it down and see. The dog tags. It's not as strong, but it's still hitting. Oh, wait a minute. On that shirt, and see, yeah, this thing is just. I wasn't getting anything over here before. It's going off. I think it's because the sensor's on this side of it. That's on the bottom of it. Where's the sensor? I think it's on the bottom. Like, I think, like, built in. Yeah. Like, it's in the bottom half. That's why it reads better that way. But, like, I wasn't getting anything here before, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, now this thing is just nonstop. 
Look at that thing. Man, that thing's just going crazy. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone attached to the dog tags here? Can you make this light up again? Is Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you for your service. I went to three. That was great. Thank you. I'll have to show Caitlin. She really wanted those to light up. The dog tags. Mm -hmm. so, and those are attached to somebody, so that had some personal connection to it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then not on any of these things, there could be like DNA, like hair or... Yeah, this thing is just... Oh, over this too. Yeah. There's a metal there. Can you make that one? Right as I said it. So cool. Can you do it again? Make it light up? Can you make this box light up for me again? Thank you. Wonderful. And thank you for your service. We absolutely appreciate you communicating with us. I thought about doing a spirit box session in here, but I wasn't sure. Because, <laughs> I mean, we could get some pretty gruesome answers, you know. And it's like that might be a little too fueled for mm -hmm. some of the families here. Yeah, I'd be like, so I don't want to like offend anyone yeah. by like doing that. So I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> Just because of respect, because a lot of these like items were from people who served and lived here in Pipestone. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, a whole community. Mm -hmm. Ooh, triple moisture and hand sanitizer. Sign me up. So when you come to the Pipestone Museum, check out these locally made items. They're really neat. We've got some pipes down here. And this is made from stone that came from Pipestone. It's really cool. We bought two of these turtles because they are really cute. So I encourage you guys to stop and check out what they have in the display case when you come and visit.